So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the family, uh, her husband, Jerry, uh, her two young, stand up there, Jerry, so they can see you. Her two sons, TJ and Connor. Uh, Connor, I believe, is a hockey player, so he'll fit in quite well around here. <laughs> and our new basketball coach, uh, oh, sorry, new volleyball coach. <laughs> I'm in the wrong building here. And our new volleyball coach, uh, Kathy George. Kathy. Oh, wow, we have some bright lights going on here. Oh, gosh, thank you so much. It's been such a whirlwind, and uh, I thank you all for being here today. It's, um, it's an honor. We had looked at a couple different jobs, and you know it was hard because you want your kids to be happy. You know we were happy, and and um, so it wasn't an easy move. When you're moving your kids, I mean your heart's bleeding. It's like, is this going to be right for them? I remember my mom was trying to get me out of my room for a couple hours. I mean I was stuck in there, and I was like, I don't really want to talk to you. You know she was like, it's going to work out. We're going to be fine. Um, and you know she, it was hard for her too because. She had been at Western for so long and built a community there, but she knew what she was doing was helping her and her family out at the same time and hopefully benefit her in her career and her goals as a coach. I remember the first day that we got here and we got introduced by the athletic director and everything. Uh, Right then and there I knew I was like looking around and I could see the whole Spartan family was there to support my mom and I remember at such a young age I felt welcome and I knew my family felt welcome here and you know I couldn't wait to see what was next in store for my mom and our family in East Lansing. Connor's, uh, he was born, he was four years younger than his older brother, and he always tried to keep up, you know. He was keeping up with uh, TJ and his friends, and some of his friends were a year older, and so as they went through the neighborhood and uh, played every type of game, you saw him trying to keep up, and whatever sport it was, whatever type of game it was, he was always trying to show that he belonged with the older kids. I followed my brother around as a kid, and he played hockey growing up. And so I would always play hockey. He played basketball, I'd play basketball. And if he played baseball, I'd play baseball. I remember him writing stories. He'd get on a computer and he'd write about how he was going to be the pitcher for the New York Yankees in the World Series. And so he wrote a whole story about that. And he was going to be a baseball player at that point. And, and really, we all thought he was going to be a baseball player because going into his junior year, he was all pitcher. But then he shot up six inches. He started shooting a lot. And he had been playing basketball all the way through. But um, it was, you know, it changed his whole idea about what he was going to do and what he was going to be. I decided like basketball is probably gonna be it for me. I, I mean, I loved it, I was doing well in it, and I just thought to myself, it's more fun for me right now at this moment, basketball, and that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanna stick with my gut and play the sport that, that's gonna be the most fun for me. Coach DJ was at one of my high school games. I think he was actually recruiting another player at the time. And you know, I had a good game, and I think he kind of took note of that because he knew who I was. He did such a good job of scoring, and he was such a competitive kid. He played hard. Every time we saw him play, it was like this kid, you know, he can really help us out. They were like, let's have a meeting here. I sat down, and coaches was kind of like, you know, we love to have you as a preferred walk-on. Um, and that kind of like hit me by surprise a little bit. I was like, oh, really? You gotta have some guys that can, that can run and pick things up very easily, and he's one of those guys. But you also want a guy that has some fire about him, uh, some guy that's gonna be competitive, is gonna push uh, his teammates and, and be supportive. When he was able to talk to coach and just kind of sort all this out and try to figure out what it was, he knew, you know, he was going to, he's bleeding green. I knew right when he, when he told me, I just knew right then and there, like, this is what I'm going to do. I wanted to be here uh, since I was a little kid and because I knew the family atmosphere that was established because of coach. 
I took this spot and I, I haven't regretted it and it's been the best decision of my life. And I couldn't be more thankful for Coach Izzo and, and DJ and all the assistants for believing in me. I remember talking to Connor when he first got here and he was saying that there was nothing like it because the intensity was exactly what he wanted. He wanted it to be hard, he didn't want it to be easy. He loved the fact that everybody was trying to be their very best. Going to the Final Four, I remember talking to my mom. She was like, this is it. This is the face that I've wanted to see from you. This makes it all worth it, everything. All the hard work that you've put in here, this is the face that I imagined that I would see you with when you decided to come here. He talked about all the experiences he's had and, and how awesome that's really to be a part of that and to shake this coach's hand or that and just like know that he's a part of a program that is just all about excellence and it's been a great honor for him. Obviously as a walk-on or non-walk-on, if you're a scholarship player, you're going to battle through adversity. You're going to have tough times and there's going to be times where you probably are thinking to yourself, well, what am I doing? This is a lot more than I anticipated uh, when I was coming in here, but uh, having someone like my mom right around the corner has been so beneficial to me. It really is, I think, because we've lived this. Like, he understands athletics through and through. He understands it through the coach's eye. You know, I understand it now through the player's eye. It's actually helped me in coaching as well because I can see point of view from where a player might sit. He's all into this volleyball team and what's going on, and I'm into the, the basketball team too. I want to see um, them be tremendously successful, and it is interesting because we have different points of view. I mean, she's not scared to hold anything back. She's a coach, <laughs> and she's also my mom. And I can always talk to her. I trust her with anything. And I just, uh, I mean, I love my mom. I try to make sure that I'm tough on him when I need to be tough on him to be real, and I think that he trusts that. You know, I always told him I could try to be your friend and make everything wonderful for you, but it's my responsibility on this earth to make you a better man. And these decisions of saying no to this or no to that, you know, have to be there. And so you have to understand that it'd be much easier to say yes to everything you want. And that's not what I'm going to do. She's always been able to help me see things from a different point of view. She just always is there to unwind me. She's always telling me just to be, be patient, keep trusting yourself, keep working hard, and everything will work out. And I believe that. I believe in her, and I trust her. And it's been awesome just having her around. Both TJ and Connor, they've allowed me to be a coach. And it wasn't easy because being a mom and going through a big tent, it's not easy. And they gave me the okay. Hey mom, we love that you're a coach. We love that we're a part of these special moments because they've been to, you know, bowl games or final fours even before Connor was on the team. And uh, they got to be a part of a family here at Michigan State and they love that. Have a picture I wanted with to play. Bronco. I wanted to play at Western before uh, I knew about MSU. Yeah, which is I weird. Know. It was funny because we had all those pictures of you with Buster Bronco and Cameron and Katie, and mm -hmm. you know, the, remember the stands, the volleyball games with the, the with the pom poms on Katie's head, and it was awesome. Yeah. So yeah, those are good, good memories. memories. But I just remember you like as this, they they called um called you Big Baby George because you had the biggest head in the world <laughs> and you were taller than every kid your age and you were just like, this monster kid who was just really aggressive. So always like get in trouble in the hallways because you were trying to play puck. What is that called? The little puck. It was either the football or hockey. What was hockey. the little hockey thing? Yeah. Mini sticks, mini sticks, mini sticks hockey, yeah. During her season and stuff, in my season it's harder, but we were trying to get together at least once a week and get something to eat and just catch up on things if we haven't like seen each other in the last week. And it was like we'd come up with a night that could yeah. work around practices or our practices. Yeah. You know, it didn't work. It didn't work 100% of the time, but it, I mean, it, most of the time we saw each other, you know, at least once a week and got something to eat. And it was really just a brief check in, kind of seeing how everything is doing and, you know, just checking on classes, life, and all that other good stuff. It's really crazy that, like, he lives here, TJ lives here, but we don't always see each other. So we all, we actually have to make time to do that. And, uh, and you know, and it's a busy world. I want, I want him to live his own life and be who he is here and not be like, oh, I've got you know, mom across the street or anything. I didn't want that, but we wanted to check in. So it's awesome to have that. And he's actually become better at it as time's gone on, because at first that was like not the cool thing to do. And then, you know, um, after a while, it's gotten more and more like where we're able to do that. It's a warm, authentic feeling, and that's what you want it to be.